Naruto, Tenjutsu you didn't know Kakashi could use. Kakashi had a wide array of jutsu that may surprise even those who've watched the series multiple times. Few ninjas in Naruto have as wide an arsenal of abilities as Kakashi does. Even Naruto, for all his power-ups and skill, rarely branched beyond his core two jutsu. Everything he created tended to build off the shadow clone technique and the Raisingan in some form. Kakashi was an entirely different beast. As the legendary copy ninja, Kakashi had a wide array of jutsu at his disposal. Some got used more than others, such as the Chidori, a baby of his own creation. Others were only used once, creating a large amount of jutsu that may surprise even those who've watched the series multiple times. 10. Earth Release, Hiding Like a Mole Technique With how useful a technique it is, it's surprising that Kakashi only ever uses it at the start of the series and only ever shows up against Uchiha. Be it training Sasuke or against Itachi. With this jutsu, Kakashi can burrow his way underground, allowing him to hide and launch a surprise attack against foes. When he's bothered to use it. It's been effective in both restraining Sasuke and launching an attack on Itachi via the rending drill fawn. It's surprising that a genius like Kakashi didn't try to mix it into his fights a bit more. 9. Opening the first gate Kakashi isn't about to open all eight gates and go ham like Mike Guy did against Madara in a fight that was one of the best in the latter half of the war. However, that doesn't mean he isn't capable of opening one. While doing a wall climbing training exercise with his team, he utilizes this, letting him strip away his mental inhibitions and scale the rocky surface with just one hand. It's as far as he's ever been shown to go as he's far from a taijutsu specialist and has enough things sapping his chakra. 8. Evil Sealing Method When Sasuke received his cursed seal from Orochimaru, it was up to Kakashi to find a means of suppressing it as Sasuke didn't have the willpower to fight against its influence as Anko did. This led to the creation of the evil sealing method that Kakashi imprinted onto Sasuke with hopes of avoiding flare-ups. Unfortunately, it was only a suppressor, and should Sasuke want it badly enough. The cursed seal would override the seal, as shown in his battle with Naruto at the Valley of the End. 7. Fire Release, Water Mist Fire release jutsu for Kakashi are rarely shown, one ending up in a filler and the fire release, water mist cropping up in Kakashi Ritsuden, the sixth Hokage and the failure boy. A canon light novel that has yet to be animated. The technique allows Kakashi to create a bird of flames that flies beneath a designated water source, the flame of the bird is so hot that it causes the water to boil and eventually turn to steam. Soon after, the bird dissipates, having completed its job. 6. Hiding in the Mist Technique It's a technique that was one of Zabuza's strongest and seems to be a trait of many Kirigakure ninja as Mei Turumi is capable of it as well. It's a bit contradictory in its strength as Zabuza made it out to be capable of rendering the Sharingan moot. Yet, Itachi said it didn't prevent his Sharingan at all in Naruto Shippuden. In any event, it's a handy jutsu to have, even if Kakashi only ever used it in the anime to beef up the battle with Itachi's clone. 5. Purple Electricity If Baruto isn't your cup of tea, you'd have missed the new upgrade Kakashi received to his lightning element. His electricity can now turn purple, doing more than just making it aesthetically pleasing. The purple electricity can be fluctuated in power as in Kakashi Haydn, he was able to use it to defuse a vest bomb and in the same novel, make it strong enough to induce rain from the sky. It's also capable of being thrown, giving him a proper replacement to his lightning cutter. 4. Chidori Current Created by Sasuke, this is a ninjutsu that allows the user to use the Chidori as a defensive ability rather than an offensive one. 
It is effectively an electrical discharge that allows the user to attack several users at once and creates a barrier of defense. Once struck, an opponent's body will instantly go stiff and fall to the ground in a heap. Thanks to Kakashi's new purple electricity, he's capable of using an incredibly similar ability. 3. 1000 Years of Death It's a silly technique that rightfully never shows up past Kakashi's training exercises, outside of Naruto's rendition of the attack against Gara. The ability is a mix of catching your opponent off guard and humiliating them at the same time. Kakashi tightly clasps his hands together and extends their middle and index fingers. Resembling the tiger hand seal. From there, he thrusts forward, bringing a severe amount of pain to his opponent's backside. 2. Shadow Clone Technique Shadow clones are a thing most often associated with Naruto. It's one of his strongest and most versatile jutsu, right up there with the Rasengan. He's far from the only one capable of doing it as Kakashi showed. Using them as deftly as Naruto had, allowing him to improve his other jutsu immensely. A big example of that being the lightning transmission, which let him connect two Chidoras. Creating a far stronger version of the jutsu. 1. White Light Blade The White Light Blade was a young Kakashi's take on his father's legendary White Light Chakra Saber. He used the White Light to enhance his blade, extending both its length and its destructive capabilities. It may not have been as renowned or feared as his father's, but showed at an early age what a genius Kakashi was. Even before the Sharingan, he'd been adept and adapting other people's abilities into his repertoire.